Hey guys, Tutsi Sag over here with another episode of uh, How to Survive. I guess I don't need another flashlight. I can't remember if I guess flashlights run out at some point. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Come to me, please. <laughs> the host has to his guests correctly, hasn't he? Molotov cocktail. It's over here. I know you told me to come see you, but, um, whatever. What do you want, buddy? Welcome to Crowback Land! If I knew I had company, I would have cleaned up a little. As I said, it's basic, but it's been enough to help me survive. Anyways, let's get started. You've got a lot to learn and not a lot of time, so pay attention. Okay, we're in his base, so I don't think I gotta worry about. Oh, here we go. You think these mutant zombies are your worst enemies? Nope. You are your own worst enemy. Look at you. Skin all shriveled, muscles weak, hands shaking. This isn't a zombie's fault, it's your fault. Ow. You have to eat. That's the topic of the sixth chapter of my book. In time, you will thank me. But first, you've got to get some food. I'm not going to just give it to you, though. You've got to fend for yourself. You can find plenty of food around here, once you know how to spot it. For instance, see those woods? There are plenty of roots to eat in there. Try, go towards the headland. Find two or three roots to eat. You will feel better right away. If you need more information, just refer to my book. Each chapter gives you critical information, which will help keep you alive. Be vigilant. It I think he's just trying to sell another book. In this area. Understand? Oh they are hungry too. So, kill them before they kill you. Kill the zombies, get food. Gotcha. Let's take a soldier hat. And now I have a soldier hat. Now you don't have intestines. I don't think I need another soldier hat, do I? Helmet with bones. Sweet. Now I just have to find bones. Do you guys want to drop some bones for me? Kovacs rules. Chapter six. Eating. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about eating. Lack of food means no energy, and no energy means you won't have the strength to fight zombies. <laughs> In this environment, you can find many roots to eat. You or can fish. Also fish. Some of those fish. Hunt for meat. Never ever eat uncooked meat. It will kill you. Uncooked meat here is full of many deadly parasites. Always cook meat before eating. Finally, remember that fresh meat is a magnet for predators around here. Fresh meat will attract zombies. <laughs> <You are laughs> <a bit> <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I think there's a way to make a meat bomb or something that attracts them and... So are these the cassava roots? I guess not. Um, so it never told me how to eat, it just said I needed to eat. Oh, here we go. Wow, it took most of those to uh, fill me up. Getting better. Good. You must remember to eat. Food is strength, and strength is survival. Oh, oh whoops! I didn't mean to click through his uh, his whatever. But oh well, it has been clicked through. The second thing. Hydration. In other words, drink water. Lots of it. Without water, you won't be able to run, and your performance will be poor. So remember, drink. Here, chapter 7. It's all in there if you need a refresher. No pun intended. Yeah, I'm sure. I okay, intend all my puns. for you to quench your thirst. There is an old well on the northwest of the island. Find it, take a drink, and come back. Let's go ahead and make... few more arrows just in case I mean I'm doing a pretty good job of collecting them say right before I fire a whole bunch of them into this group over here and they go away. I only lost two. That's not terrible. Where am I headed? In the wrong direction. Let's go back this way. Clever girl with a helmet. this arrow. Nope. Kovacs mm. rules. Chapter 7. Drinking. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This chapter is about drinking, 
drinking. Symptoms from lack of water include dizziness and headaches. This will affect your ability to concentrate and make critical decisions. Do not drink from the sea. It causes dehydration. Do not drink from the swamp. It is riddled with disease. That makes sense. Find fresh water wells and store as much as you can. You will find many containers. Oh, I have empty bottles. Use them to store water. You will find some fresh fruit growing. You can eat this, but be careful about how much. A survivor with the shits is not the best. <laughs> Shield potion, mushrooms, and those things. Ignite, I don't really need to do that. Found a wooden stick. That's like as good as ten arrows. Well done. Hey, you seem breathless. Clearly, you found trouble as well as water. Are for the course, my friend. Which reminds me, you need to learn how to make your own equipment. Come, my workshop is just here. I, mean, I already learned how to make my own bow. Show me to your workshop, friend. I will get stuck on things in your village. Welcome to the Kovacs workshop. You like it? You should. There's tons of useful stuff in here. What at first seems useless could well be useful. This will all become clear very soon. Today, I'll teach you how to craft a shotgun using a harpoon grip, a flailed tube, and a few other bits and pieces. Nice. I am a master at this, making junk useful. Very useful. Stay focused while I show you how to do it. Okay, pick up all the things on the workbench. Now, make me a gun. I will check your work, so make sure it's good enough. Good luck. Just tell me how to make the shotgun. Mm. Kovacs rules. Chapter His eight. quests are very long-winded for not actually giving you any information. You must improvise to survive. It is possible to create your own weapons using spare parts and other tools. The better your weapon, the better your chances of killing the zombies. You can and should combine found objects to create deadlier weapons. To make a shotgun, select a harpoon grip from your stuff. Choose Combine and select the diving tank. You now have a new item, but it is not a complete weapon. Combine this item with a flared tube and next with a hardware box. You have created your very own shotgun. For ammunition, metal scrap found on dead bodies will be okay. There are many ways you can combine items, but choose wisely. <laughs> I don't want to make that weapon. <laughs> Why would he point the barrel back at his own face? I mean, you gotta be pretty stupid to think pointing a gun barrel back at, in the direction... Like, back in your own direction would be a bad idea.
Okay. At least you don't really have to remember. Good. Of course, with some additional parts, it could be improved. Nevertheless, for a first try, it's not bad. Let's put your new weapon to the test, my friend. Want to see if it really works? I don't think I actually get to keep this gun, unfortunately. The third most important danger is fatigue. Exhaustion will kill you. It'll cause you to make mistakes. If you don't rest when your body needs it, you won't be able to function. Running when exhausted? Almost impossible. Of course, you can't sleep if you are not tired. I see it like this. When it comes to surviving, your body is the boss. Oh, one thing. As I said in my book, you cannot sleep just anywhere. By now, you should have figured out that it's too dangerous. To sleep safely, you need to find one of my secure shacks. Chances are, you will have to clean up before you rest. They are usually overrun by scum. There is a secure shack on the east of the island. Your task is this. Find it, clear it out, then take a nap. Of course, you will need ammunition. Wow, you gave me a lot of bullets. We're about at time, but, uh... You know, we'll go ahead and finish this quest. Yeah, I definitely like the shotgun. This tells me about the sleeping. Chapter 9. Yeah. Resting. If you wish to have a chance at defeating the zombies, you have to take care of your body's basic needs. The basis of all survival is drinking, eating, and sleeping. This, this is chapter sleeping. is about resting. To survive day after day, it's imperative to rest. You should not sleep by day and <laughs> night, but when fatigue is felt, The more you are tired, the more your stamina decreases. You must sleep to replenish your vitality. But you cannot sleep anywhere. It's too dangerous. Oh. <laughs> you must find a safe place where you can rest easy. There are many secure shacks you can sleep in safely. They're they will somehow locked, but filled with zombies. You can rest. How does that work? The zombies go in and lock themselves in? Oh, I missed. Oh, hey, it works like a shotgun. <laughs> uh... This definitely makes uh, clearing them out a lot easier than using the uh, bow and arrow or the machete. Make sure we loot them all.
Oh, it lets me save. Oh, I have to close the door. All right, well, this looks like a good place to quit because we're at a save point. Uh, so, we'll quit here. Hit subscribe to see more. Hit like if you liked it. Next time, we'll go turn in that quest and uh, proceed with the game.